friends. Today we're going to do another recycled project. Um, today I think we're going to use about six to seven pop cans or club soda cans, which I have here, or any other kind of cans that you guys have that are um, um, drink cans that we can use for our crafting. So what we're going to do is cut them open, flatten them out, you guys can look at previous videos that I've done. Um, I could link them below. And yeah, I might even do a quick review. I don't know. We'll see. I might have a little speed through. Of the tracing part and this is and it was cutting and the edges are fine you just check them be careful with your fingers I got pretty tough hands sorry about all the paint been doing lots of stuff today um so I don't know you wear gloves if you need to if you feel you guys know how you feel safe and that kind of thing and so if you feel safer with gloves and wear gloves I find that the gloves are bulky on me and I can't uh, work so now I take my ballpoint pen and I'm just going to make some marks in my petal. You can use your stylus. I'm just going to use my pen. Just to make some kind of like embossing marks or whatever. So just to show you how it's going to look on this side. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to do that to all of these. And this is going to be my design on my flower. So you could do any shape petals. I just thought I kind of like the pop poppy isk. So it's going to be like that kind of shape. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's kind of far up, eh, guys? Is it too far up? Um, so that is it so far. So 
you do it on the side that's going to go in the back, the, the side with all the uh, design on the can. Unless you want that to show, then you flip it the other way. But I'm going to go for uh, not showing on this side. So there's my design. Isn't that pretty? You could do anything. You can do swirls. There, I'm almost getting it out backwards here. You can do any kind of design on here, guys. It's so easy and so it's fun. And I mean, what do you get? Like, uh, I think you get dime a can if you're recycling and you get money for it. So this is kind of like, you know, 70 cents worth of uh, refund here that you you're using. But you know, seriously, it's fun, and you don't have to go and use the the fuel to to recycle. If you're gonna make something really awesome out of it, why not? If it's gonna last you a while and it's gonna be something really cool why not recycle it in your own way we use and a lot of places i i hear that a lot of places don't take cans and you don't get paid um recycling fees in the cans so use yeah um just use them up in different ways so this is my petals isn't that pretty so I want them to kind of go the other way a bit, but they're going to, right now they're kind of flopping that way, like backwards, but that's nice. So that's my petals so far. So I'm not too worried about how they shape it in a moment. Uh, I can just shape them any way I want afterwards. So now I'm going to color them. And you can use any paint that you want to paint over these. I'm going to try, first of all, is uh well i want to try some metallic lusters so i'm going to go on an extra piece here and see how it goes i'm going to grab a sponge and let's see here on this piece it's going to be pretty nice do i want to just do this or do i want to add paint in the background see how pretty that is so i think i'm just going to do that and add the metallic lusters in radiant red onto my project you can do this with any acrylic red paint or paint of your choice color and then add some glitter glue on top to add the kind of radiance because there's a bit of a that glittery radiance on it and that would work as well if you don't choose to use a decolette product there's also lots of other um, products out there that you can use that have uh, like a glitter so and I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bottom here this bottom to one of my pieces. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Oh, do I even have clean water? I'm going to add a little bit of water to try and dampen it up a bit. And I might not have any water. That's clean. <laughs> okay, just a second here. I got a little bit here. Okay. Wow. I was I gotta have them be more prepared. So I got a little bit of water just in my lid, and I'm just gonna do that and get some of that. Add a little bit just so it smears a bit better. Not too much. So if I feel that it's getting too dry, I can just add a little water to my sponge to get it. To get it to go smear a bit more because you can add water to this product and kind of paint with it a little like watercolor i think what i'm going to do is add a little less water or not add so much when i do it okay keep doing it and i'm going to keep going on And like I said, you could even do like the base coat red with uh, acrylic paint and then go over top with some of this if you want to kind of be sparing, more sparingly on it. And see, I just got enough in there to, I'll have to go over it a little bit. I, get a little, I might add too much water at first, but now I have enough to kind of spread it easily like butter and 
and I'm just going to keep spreading it on there with my sponge. Go over pieces that I feel that I've kind of got my fingerprints on. <laughs> And just get the color that you wish to get out of it. You can have highlights of color. You don't have to have one color. And make a beautiful flower. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Oh, it's getting a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my sponge. Sometimes the metallic lusters are a bit dry. I can go over that one. And there we go, guys. I might go over them a little bit more. You can highlight with purples or blues or any colors that you like. So now I have my, um, I'm going to get a little bit of moisture in here. See, I'm picking up some of that water in here, my sponge. Now I'm going to use my um, black shimmer and just kind of go over the edges a bit like inking and then kind of do like a dry stroke over top to pick up some of that embossing you see that that embossing I did with the um, gives it some shade add some depth to my flower petal. See that? Compared to this one here. How pretty that is. And that is just with my mist uh, um, metallic lusters again from Deco Art and just going over it. And you guys, there's other different things you can use too, products. Um, I know that other companies have them that are similar to um, that guards. I'm not sure if you can Google like, I don't know if you can Google like different products or what. But anyways, that's how it looks. That's my petal. So I'm going to do that to all of them. And um, yeah, my black's always been really dry, so I got to add a little water. I'm going to add some depth to my petal. I heat set them all in a bit too, so then um, they stay on the metal. And now I'm just going to go over again, like I did before. Grab whatever's kind of sticking up, adding some shading. going in that direction of the petal just like that the tin can sure come in handy this is going to last forever outside in the garden you might I don't know like if I have to paint it again that might be the only problem I don't know how long it's going to last. I guess this will be a test. You can paint with outdoor paint as well. But I'm just using this because I like these products. And, well, hey, why not try it? Use it. See how I like it outside. I'm going to maybe protect it, I don't know, with more protection like a, a sealer. But, um, yeah, it's looking really good. I'm liking it a lot. Starting to get a little dry, I might have to put a little moisture in it. But that's all you need with these guys. If they get a little dry, just add a little bit more moisture. Into the bottle or into the 
mix of it. There's the bit on your sponge, and that's how it looks. So you try to use as much of the can as possible to get the nice large petals. So you got to try to get the uh, cutting it really, you know, right at the edge. I went pretty far down to the bottom of the edge here. So on the cans to try to get the most space from one end to the top end to the bottom end of the can for my petals. And this is why my hands are a mess because of all this messy paint. But it's okay. I'm project after another kind of thing. Sometimes I get in my where I'm like, oh, okay, I want to do this. And I want to do this. So then I do a few videos over at a time or, you know, back to back kind of a thing. And that's how it looks. All of them might be different a little bit and it doesn't matter because that's how flowers are. They're all a little different. Petals. You can do, like I said, um, nice big daisy petals. Um, you put it differently on the can. Just draw out your your design of your petals. You can do whimsical flowers, just made up type of flowers. And have fun with it. And this also too, you know, I'm you know kind of checking my edges while I'm doing this too. Again, check my edges, make sure there's nothing sharp. So it's safe. Isn't that cute? There's my pieces. Love my metallic lusters. Okay, so here are the pieces, my petals so far. <coughs> Excuse me. I think they look really, really pretty. So make a hole in them, and I'm not really worried about how even they're going to be. I might have to use a card. I like using playing cards for this, like a little cardboard, because it, it gets it a little thicker in there. But I got this folded piece of paper here. So that's my holes. I'm going to start making holes so I can put them together, and I'm using this tool, which I don't know what it's called, but you guys see me use it ton of times. Um, you can use any kind of hole piercing device. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do it over here a bit more. I might have just my, I might have to pick the uh, piece of metal out from before because I sometimes I don't pick them up regularly enough and I get them full in there. out so I'm just gonna clean this out here can you see it gets full a little bit I'm gonna clean that out and push it stuff through and I'll be back just a quick show on how I cleaned and see this is was all packed in there from different cards playing cards and stuff like that I just push this through here put a little pressure oops put a little pressure in there and popped it right clean right through so just to let you guys know that you do have to clean these out Especially if you have like card and metal pieces in them. And that's what I did. So I'm just showing you that I cleaned it out that way. So now I can continue on making holes in my petals right here. So I'm going to probably move my camera up and continue. Because it should not be so hard. And I'm like looking at it. And yeah, it was quite full. So sometimes when you're in a project, you kind of like forget to check that. So I'm just making sure I'm not too close to the edge so my hole doesn't break through. And see how much easier that is now that I've actually cleared the way. See, it was really full. 
and the paper helps give cushion it so then it's got to, just like when you're embossing cushions it soon has got some give in the back and that's what you should hear and sometimes it just packs up in there and you can't punch your hole through and gets difficult that's when you know time to clean it out or try to make a habit of cleaning it out every time you use it but sometimes it doesn't happen because you're in the middle of crafting and you don't think about it and you throw it you put it all away after and you're like tidying up as quick as possible just to get out of here kind of a thing and that's how easy it is once it's clean so i was struggling there and it looked horrible probably thinking i'm never buying that thing but it's not that bad okay so now like i said just use the court card piece for the back. now my plan is to play with this my plan is to try see if I can actually get it going through one of these things here. And I don't know how many pieces I'd be able to do. And I'm thinking one layer at a time. If I can do, you can also probably uh, put um, another thing I'm thinking of that splits in the back one of those ones. And that would be one layer. I think that will work one layer and then the second layer of petals will be um yeah so i think this will work but before i do that i'm going to paint the backs so then they are ready and don't, they don't have the uh soda pop thing on them okay this will probably just take a couple of layers I'm using black tie um, Americana multi surface paint to cover the back. I'm, I might highlight it with a little bit of red. Um, I don't know. I'm not too worried about the back showing. I kind of want to not have the back showing. So, but so I'm just covering it up just so it looks professional and all nice. So, so I'm going to have the backs done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to grab some sheets of paper so then I don't get black on my other side of my petal because I'm getting it all over my table and I don't want to mess up that beautiful petal. So now I'm just going to do a couple layers of this. <laughs> couple layers of this. Like this. And cover it up. And you won't be able to see too much in the background. And that's just good for me. Anyone, if you wish to have it showing, so then you can tell, show people what it's made from. It's recycled. That's pretty cool. You can do that as well. So what I'm doing now is just going to go through and carefully flip my paper over so I'm not wrecking the front design. And painting the backs. Have each petal. So I'll be back, I guess, when I'm done them all. Okay, so I have all of my background painted black. I got a little bit of black on the front, but that's okay. It looks good. So what I'm going to do now is get my centers together. So what I'm going to do is make, I want to have, um, I have lots of petals. I may have too many, but you never know. So I want to have four petals I think together and then I have three for the top I think or or three for the bottom and four for the top so it's all up to how it's going to look when I have them together I actually want four on the bottom I think so I'm going to put this through my whatever piece 
rivet or whatever and I want a, another one in the bottom here. Just like this. Now they're all dark and I can't see them. So now I'm going to squish that together with my tool and then hammer it out. So I have this to squish the uh, rivets or whatever they're called now they're off my eye, the eye rings. I can't think of what they're called right now. And then that's the center of my flower. And I could even maybe be happy and leave it with this. However many petals you want. So I got four tin cans through there. And that's pretty good. So... I'm just going to shape them a bit. Don't be afraid to shape them. They're your petals. You can make them look like whatever way you want. You can have them, like I said, any shape petals. I'm kind of going with the poppy look. And that might be enough petals. Or I can double it up on top. So that's I'm not sure. Well, I'll do this other three petal one here. And I could add it to it, or I could just have another flower on the side. So I'm just going to put it through like this. And you could do a whole bunch of these flowers in different colors, and that would be so cute. go. You don't want to shape them. So this one's got two in the bottom, two on top. This one's got three. I could put them together, the thicker flower, or I could actually have them separate too. So you could do any type of flower. So that's how it would look if I decided to add it to this one. Be fuller. You got kind of throw your flowers off so they're all kind of layered like this. So that would be one really full flower. Or you can do a couple. This is really looking really nice. I like that. So I don't know. I'm actually thinking I'm going to make it into one really full flower. So I'll be back. In one second, we're going to put them both together. For this next piece, what we're going to need is a dowel. Um, this one, I think, is long enough. And I'm going to need some gauge wire. I'm not sure how many gauge this is. Uh, it says 20 gauge. Sorry, I thought I didn't have the little sticker, but it's way down there from the dollar store craft wire. And I'm going to grab a couple of things. I'm going to need something side cutter to cut the wire. And I'm going to need this to manipulate it. And so I'm going to guesstimate that I want how much I want. I could always cut it shorter. A little longer would be better, right? So what I want is to have a piece to go over and through my flowers and hold it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab several pieces. Now I've got to find my end. Grab several pieces and do that. Put them through. And that's going to be center of my flower, as well as holding it to the dowel, as well as making like the stem and all that kind of stuff, which will be really cute through the piece here. So I don't know if anyone's done this idea before, probably, but I um, have uh, was looking at this really beautiful garden poppy, uh, and I thought, well, you know what, I can make a beautiful poppy garden steak with <laughs> pop cans so there and that's what I thought so 
I decided to do it. I didn't go looking for it to see if anyone else has done it, but, you know, I'm sure it's been done before. And I'm losing my ends. Where's my end? I've got pulled more out, I think. So I got, think about an end right here. Don't know if it's the right one, but we'll pull a whole bunch out here. So I don't keep losing it. So I don't know how many I'm going to need. But I'm just going to try to get what I think is going to fit through that circle. So I think this should be the last one. Imagine all these pieces going through that little circle. Maybe one more, and I could always leave it out if I don't need it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, decide after I think decide how long I want them, or oh well, let's just try it. Let's try it. So what I'm going to do now is just put them all in one bunch. Grab my dowel wrap it around like this grab my tool hold on to it and I'm just going it hey this is like we're going for it right grab it and try to get as close as I can to here to the edge so there now I'm going to twist see how many I got in there I might have lost a couple I'm going to twist around. I might need a bigger tool to clamp. Twist around a bit, just like that. My dowel. See? And then try to slide it up a bit. Then I'm just going to try to get my pieces inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting them a little bit now that I have this all twisted. I'm going to cut them to about all close to the same length. A couple at a time though, because I don't want it like one at a time or whatever. I don't want it to smack to my face, so I'm kind of pointing it away from me. Because if you point it this way and you're cutting the end up, it's going to hit you in the eye. Just saying, not good. So if you see what I'm doing, pointing it away from me. To hear it just binging off my paint cup. There we go. So now I got them pretty much even, and then I'm just gonna see how many I can get in there. So I'm gonna do my first ones. I might have put too many in there. Holding them together as much as possible. And then I'm just going to try to get them in there. Might have to take a couple off, but that's okay. It's better than having to add it on after. Um, I'm just going to what's at the top, taking it off. See, it was easy. Rather than putting it back together, you put, it's hard to put it added once you twist it all up. And just play with that. Struggle, struggle, of course, struggle, struggle. There's a video going. I might have to take another one off or struggle some more. So I'm just going to look to see which one here is at the very top. There we go. And that's why we have to try to cut them all close to the same size, too. It makes it easier to slide them over. I think I will have to maybe tape it if I don't get it through. There we go. Oh, and of course, I do I start with the wrong one? Yes, I do. So we go through. <laughs> Here we go. We do it again. There we go. First batch. That was a few minutes there, but hey, well worth it.
Do the same thing with the next one. Close them up a bit. Open them up a bit. There we go. So now we have the dowel here. Oops, not in the video. The flower is here. Pushing it down as far as I can get it to go. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to open up my stain and We go and now we could just paint those black and be done with it you can add probably more stamen to them too if you um, say add them with like a glue or something like what I would say was like uh, e6000 or something but if you don't mind it being a little Sparse on the stamen. Hey, it's good. It's all good. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the center here black going around. Getting my stamen. I might have to throw some heat on it so I can do a second coat. And now this is pretty much done. You just got to decorate or paint your steak if you wish to paint your steak. So this is it, guys. This is my second or third third recycled can project I made some a beautiful pot beef you could play with it this is great so four 20 gauge wires go through these little um, pieces here I'm thinking they're just an average standard size that come I don't know I don't know but so that's something but and then you could just shape them like I said you could do any kind of uh, shape and uh, move them around in the back here and you don't want them you want them kind of all puffed out and you want them to really look layered so there we go and push them all down and get them all I got the paint on there now but Get them all Oops, there. I think it looks really cute. There's my layers. You could do red on both sides too, but I don't know. Whatever. I just did it this way, and I like it. So I hope you guys give this a try, and I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to craft like a cup. Talk to you guys later. Bye.